Hey guys, Michelle Glass here, and welcome to our final installment of our Chapter 17 lecture series. I thought, I bet you thought it would never end. I was beginning to feel that way myself too. Um, remember from our last video that I have not covered every single bit of information your textbook covers on vision. I've covered the key points, the stuff I want you to super duper know. Um, but if you are interested in knowing more, read your textbook, let me know if you have questions, and I'll be glad to help. So our topic for this video is accommodation. Accommodation is describing the changes in shape that happen to your lens in order to accommodate for looking at things far away or super up close. And these changes happen with the help of the ciliary muscle. So let's remind ourselves of where we are in our eyeballs. So this is the drawing I did for you in our previous video. We are focusing in here on the ciliary muscle um, and the lens whose job it is to actually focus that light. The ciliary muscle is a circular muscle and so that means it's you know shaped like this and when it contracts it's going to get smaller when it's relaxed it's going to get bigger. Now the ciliary muscle is um, attached to the lens with the help of ciliary Zonule, um, what I was taught to be to call um, the suspensory ligament. So you might hear me use that as my default. The ciliary zonule is the term that's presented in our textbook now. Okay. Now again, when that ciliary muscle is relaxed, the ciliary zonule is going to be really tight. So if that ciliary muscle is really big, then the ciliary zonule is pulled tight, and that's going to pull tight the lens, and so the lens is going to be nice and flat. And that's going to make a difference in how the light refracts or bends when it goes through. So the light will not bend as much if it's going through a flat lens compared to a thick lens. Now sometimes students have a little bit of trouble with this um, concept of accommodation. And I think in part it's because the ciliary muscle is a circular muscle and we have sort of a hard time picturing what's happening there. So I am wearing my visual aid for today. My pink hooded sweatshirt. Okay, get this hair out of the way. Alrighty, so this is my relaxed ciliary, um, <laughs> ciliary muscle, right? So big and open. So in this case, if my ciliary um, muscle is relaxed, then the ligaments are pulled tight and the lens is pulled tight, right? Can you imagine that? So my lens is flat. Okay, now let's see what happens when our, whoops, let's see this way. See what happens when our muscle is contracted. When that ciliary muscle, contracts. It's going to be like me pulling on the strings of my hoodie. Get smaller, right? So that muscle is getting super up close to the lens, right? <laughs> and so in this case, that looks so funny. In this case, my ciliary zonule those suspensory ligaments are gonna be like super relaxed, right? And so my lens is gonna be big and, big and fat, nice and round, because there's nothing pulling it tight. So when my muscles contracted, my lens is large, it's round. Do you see that? Okay, if you have light passing through the round lens, it's gonna bend more. And so this is going to affect how it focuses onto the retina. Oh, here we go. All right. So here we go. If you're looking at something up close, you need those wavelengths of light to come together at the focal point, and you need the focal point to hit your fovea centralis on your retina. So there's only so much space between your book and your fovea centralis. And so in order for you to get those wavelengths of light to focus here and not like here, you need to shorten them up a little bit. And you can shorten them up by sending them through a big round lens. And we can make our lens big and round 
by tightening up that ciliary muscle, relaxing the suspensory ligaments or the cili um, ciliary zonule, and then making that lens big and round. It's gonna shorten up those wavelengths of light because they're bending through that big round lens. Okay? So, when your ciliary muscle is contracted, the lens is large, it's fat, it's gonna bend up those wavelengths of light. So this is great for when you're looking at something up close, okay? So like if you're watching me on your um, cell phone, then you're gonna have your ciliary muscle is contracted in order to focus your image because you're holding that close to your face type thing, okay? Now, if instead you're watching me on the big screen far away, I hope that's not the case, that's hor horrifying. But if you're looking at something far away, those wavelengths of light have to travel from that object to you and still hit at the same place. They still have to converge at the focal point at your fovea centralis. And so they've already traveled a long distance. You don't want them traveling even more. And so you need that lens to be nice and flat so you're not bending up those wavelengths of light so that they are correctly hitting at the fovea centralis. So that's when you're gonna have your big round ciliary muscle. That's gonna give you those pulled tight uh, ciliary zonule and that pulled tight flattened lens. Oh. Okay. So when your ciliary muscles relax, the zonule is tight, the lens is pulled tight, it's flat. So this is what's happening if you're looking at an object that's far away because those wavelengths of light have already traveled a distance before they're coming into your eyeball. And that's it.